Hey everyone, my name is Artindi and I'm back with another list of 10 tips for Godot beginners. Keep in mind that these are for beginners, so if you are pro, then likely you have heard of all of these. Also, if you want to see my last two 10 tips for beginners videos, the link will be in the description. So let's get started. If you have a project that is not showing up in your project list because maybe you had to reinstall Godot after getting a new computer, you can click the button labeled Scan and it will open a file explorer where you can find the file of the project you wish to import and add it to your project list. Now if you're working on different projects at the same time and you want to change between them to copy paste some sweet code that you came up with, you can click on Project and quit to Project List. This way you don't have to completely turn off the whole engine like I never did. As far as I know, there is no way to leave two projects open at the same time though. But if there is a way, then whoever knows how better tell me. If you want to play a scene but you don't want to sort through your highly unorganized file system to find it, you can click on the scene board icon with the file icon inside it and it will open a list of all the scenes you have in your project. When you play one of these, it will play the scene but will leave it unopened in the editor. Alternatively, there's a quick open feature. It's just another option to find what you want besides your regular file system. The normal quick open option will show you everything and the other two options will filter down to scenes only and scripts only. When creating nodes, I highly recommend changing their names from the default name to something fitting for what it is. Be descriptive. This helps a lot because when you create a new script, it is automatically named after the node it is attached to. And it can be very confusing to have a script named Node2D, but have no idea which Node2D it is actually a part of. Suppose you have added something to your game and you want to run the scene so that you can see if what you've added is working the way it should. However, you don't want to move the character to whom the camera is attached all the way over to that location or maybe it's in a spot that the player can't even get to. In order to see your new addition conveniently and quickly, just click on the camera button at the top of the editor and the game camera will show the same view as what you see in the editor. The background color for the scene viewer is a default gray, but if you are making a game with a lot of gray sprites or the gray color is just not working for you, you can change it by clicking on project and in the general tab under rendering, click on environment, and here you can change the color to something more fitting, like this color. Okay, that's, that's just bad. That's, yeah, that shouldn't be a thing. If you're making a game with pixel art, and your pixel art is not on any standard sized grid, like 32 by 32 or 64 by 64, but you still want to have your pixelated sprites line up with the other pixels in your game, then turn on your grid snapping tool and set the grid size to only one pixel by one pixel. This way, your sprites will still fit wherever you want, but the pixels line up with everything around it. Man, I've never said pixel so many times before. This line of code is one of the most useful I have ever found. I featured it in my video on Coyote hang time jumping and had to include it in this 10 tips video as well. It will create a timer and put a stop to your code on whatever line it is on until the timer runs down. This is great when making a cutscene or if you just need to delay something in your code for whatever amount of time. My last tip for you is to just click on stuff. It sounds weird, but honestly, many of the things I've learned about Godot is from hovering my mouse over things, clicking on them, and experimenting a little. The great thing about Godot is it is super intuitive, so if you feel like it should work a certain way, then it likely does. You could learn way more than I can show you here by just exploring the editor a little. Well, I hope some of these tips will be useful to you. I don't think I'll be making another Tips for Beginners video, so this will be the last of three. If I do any more Tips videos, it'll be focused on particular subjects within the engine or in game design. But... If you have any requests or just want to let me know what you think, please do. I love feedback. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.